We pick up action, third period of the 177 pounders, Clark and Gutches. Oh, and Clark wow. with a quick little. Gets in on uh, or Gutches, I mean, doing a nice job there. Coming around behind, he doesn't have to. Get out of here. That is a reversal there. Once you get behind on your feet, it counts as a reversal. You don't have to bring them back down to the mat. Now Clark in big trouble. 7-2 the score. So you're talking about confidence. I mean, Gutches right now has to feel very confident in this position, ahead by five with riding time. And I imagine he'll try to keep Clark down as long as possible. Clark wanted to win and dedicate this tournament to his friend Willie Jones, who was killed in a drive-by shooting in San Diego. Jones had a full wrestling scholarship to Cornell. Well, certainly, uh, we can understand his motivation there. Yeah. Clark working for hand control here, but he's on his belly. He needs to build his base back up. Gutch is now really starting to grind, starting to dominate. He's trying to work an arm bar in. Once he gets it, he'll secure a near wrist. Now he's going to try to run that bar arm. Look for some near fall points. Putting Clark on his back. One minute left in the match. Gutches on top, 7-2. See what he can do with it. He's unable to really... There, now he's got his hips to the side. He needs to continue to drive forward almost into Clark's ear. And that is how you keep the front end down and be able to start walking around the head and try to get that back point. Uh, oh my lord. A point of An illegal move by Gutches. Twisted on his you heard him say, Oh my toe. That was what Quincy Quincy Clark screamed up. I uh I don't know about that call. Turn around and say that's it certainly seems Clark is okay and we're happy about that. Here you see him hanging on to the uh, ankle, driving forward and lifting, and right there he breaks it. There was no intentional twist. If anything, it just appeared that way. And of course, the referees are there to protect the athletes, so they made the call. It will not have any significance in the outcome of this match. That's the good thing. Well, at this point, you never count anybody out in wrestling. Ain't a horse that can't be rode, ain't a man that can't be thrown. And that's what Clark's looking for. He's looking to go up her body. Oh! Look at that technique, beautiful by Gutches. Nice down. little duck under. It doesn't count for any points, but it kind of reaffirms to Clark, hey, you get too aggressive, you'll pay the price. 14 ticks left in the third period. Seven to four, Gutches. And there it is. And that's going to do it. Our workman, workman like job there. The eighth champion of the evening, it's Les Gutches from Oregon State. Now 33-0 and on the year. At just 22, he's got another year, just a junior. He's 6-0 and against Quincy Clark, but more importantly, he wins his first national championship. We take a quick timeout. We're back with the big guys, 190-pounders, Joel Sherrod and J.J. McCrew. That's coming up next from Iowa City.